Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be remaking a video that I made last year, how to do smooth velocity on Video Star. Um, earlier this year, uh, sorry, uh, like earlier this year, like late in 2020, Video Star came out with a Twixter feature, which makes your velocities about a thousand times smoother than they were before. And quite honestly, the last tutorial I made on velocity for Video Star was not smooth at all. I just made it that the thumbnail because I honestly thought that was smooth. But now looking back at it, it was not smooth at all. So yeah, I'm just going to be showing you how to make a new one. So first things first, you're going to want to open up Video Star, And you can do this your own way if you want. You can do the select song way. I'm personally going to do edit video and I'm going to make it in this orientation right here. And then I'm just going to hit edit video. Then I'm going to choose my video of Charlie and then I'm just going to add it in. Now I'm going to wait a second for this to process and load in and everything. So I'm just going to wait for that <laughs> real quick. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into new and then you want to tap velocity. Now, I don't have Video Star Pro. I just bought the velocity pack. My Video Star Pro ran out last month and I haven't bought it since. And I definitely need to, so I'm probably going to have to do that soon. Anyways, um, basically what you want to do is every time you hear a beat in your song that you're editing to, um, just go ahead and tap, like, you'll see this little plus mark right here. You just want to tap that every time you hear a beat. So I'm going to go ahead and every time I hear a beat in my song, I'm gonna I'm sorry, I'm gonna tap the little plus mark and I'm going to drag the little like button right here down to about like 150 or something. So yeah. Like right here, when she goes down, you're gonna wanna press the little plus and then you can either use these little arrows to move it down or you can use your fingers to move it down. I prefer the arrows only because they're a lot more precise but if you guys don't feel like like moving the arrows down the entire time, you can definitely just use your fingers. Also, I forgot to say, make sure that your velocity is um like this tap this little thing right here and make sure it is set on better mixture because the rest of these will not look as smooth. So yeah. Um, I'm not going to do the entire song because that would take a little longer than I would like this video to be. But what you want to do is after you're done having all your beats, it is perfectly okay if they look a little bit messy like this. Um, if you use the arrows, chances are they're not going to look as messy as this does. I didn't end up using the arrows for this specific tutorial, but I usually use them in free time, like my own free time. Like when I don't, it doesn't matter how long I take to make a velocity. Um, so yeah. So after you have all your markers set for the entire video, what you want to do is tap create. And it may take a while to create the preview, so just like beware of that, I guess. Um, I will try and speed up the process when it is creating the preview for you guys.
Okay, so now that it is finally done creating the preview, this is what it should look like. So I don't know why um, the brightness went down, but anyways, yeah, that's just basically how you make a velocity. Yours is probably going to turn out a ton better than mine it looks because I haven't done velocity in a few days on Video Star. I've just been using After Effects Twixter instead, but yeah, I hope this tutorial helps some of you out. It's definitely an improvement from my last one I made last summer on Video Star Velocity. So yeah, that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below any tutorial requests you guys may have. Also, I would like to state that a light motion does not currently have a velocity feature. So unfortunately, I can't make a tutorial on that, but I do have um, how to make a velocity on CapCut. That is for both Android and iOS. So yeah. Also, I forgot to say I'm filming outside today once again. So yeah, I love you guys. Bye.